Hey everyone, it's another edition of the Pick 6. I'm your host, Mike Wabshaw, inside the Fieldhouse at TCO Performance Center, in a good mood after we beat the Green Bay Packers. But now we gotta go beat the Patriots. Lots of work to do this week, including answering your questions, so let's get to it. Question number one comes from Alexander in Dallas. How do you think the offensive line played? Dare I say, I think they were pretty good. Hey, don't be tepid. They were pretty good. This might have been the Vikings' best pass protection performance of the season. Kirk Cousins dropped back to pass 40 times, was sacked only twice. Bravo to the offensive line. Also credit to the tight ends and the backs who are responsible for helping with pass protection. Lots of clean pockets. Look at all those clean pockets you're looking at right now. Kirk Cousins, lots of time to pass find Stephon Diggs and Adam Thielen and Kyle Rudolph for another 300-yard performance against the Packers. Good job, O-line. Question number two comes from Bob. What is the skinny on Xavier? Well, Xavier pulled up with what appeared to be a leg injury against the Green Bay Packers. If he's forced to miss some time, well, the Vikings have been through this drill before. They were without Everson Griffin. Steven Weatherly stepped up. Andrew Sandejo has been out. Anthony Harris has looked good. Anthony Barr missed a few games, Eric Wilson and Ben Gideon stepped up. If Xavier misses time, it'll be Holton Hill who gets first crack at extra playing time. The next question comes from John. When we won the coin toss, why did we take the ball? Conventional wisdom says to defer to the second half. I think this had to do with the aggressive mindset that head coach Mike Zimmer wanted to carry into the game and use during the game. We saw him go for it on fourth down late in the game and then on third down with the game on the line, the Vikings threw a pass rather than run the ball to take more time off the clock. That pass wound up winning the game. So this aggressive mindset I think is what led Zim to decide to take the ball. He wanted to take the ball and get an early lead on the Packers. It didn't work out in Zim's favor, but the team responded. The next question comes from Lloyd in Alaska. Have we ever scripted the first plays in any game you know of? We can't come out in New England like we did against the Packers. Well, scripting plays for an offense is a pretty standard practice in the NFL. I don't know what John DeFilippo's preference is, but it wouldn't surprise me if the Vikings had some scripted plays to begin the game. But you are correct, Lloyd. We cannot afford a slow start on the road at Gillette Stadium against these Patriots. Got to start out fast. The next question comes from Beth Ann. What are the chances we'll beat a team with a 500 or greater record this year? Well, remember Beth Ann, all these wins, they all count the same at the end of the season, but we are gonna have an opportunity coming up here to beat some pretty good teams, including this week at New England, where we have Tom Brady, Bill Belichick, and the Patriots. Next week at Seattle, they're above 500, and we close the season with an NFC North showdown against the Bears, who are way above 500. And the final question comes from Peter in St. Paul. Will you rock a Norseman mustache for the final pick six of November? Uh, I don't know. If you send me enough money, maybe I'll give it a try. That'll do it for this week's edition of the Pick Six. Thanks for watching and thanks for submitting your questions. We're gonna be back next week with another edition of the Pick Six. So if you wanna be included, send your questions in to the email address at the bottom of the screen. And if you send enough money, maybe I'll have a Norseman mustache.